Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do a natural dye technique with avocado stones or pits. Um, in your kit for the month of April, you received some avocado dye tags and strings and some different um, ribbons and I even included some fabrics for a little stitch kit. But I also wanted to show you what a fun and easy way this is to add color and just some natural elements to your art or stationary letter writing. And it's so easy. It's very simple um, ingredients. So I'm going to show you the pot that I dyed in first. And I just had a big pot that I only use for dyeing. And I'm gonna pull a couple of these pits out so you can see the color they become. So I washed the pits. I didn't take the skins off. Um, you can if you want like a really um, pure, nothing floating around in there. I kind of like what what the little um, skins do to the dyeing process, but that's what the pits look like after they've been boiled. They become this really red, beautiful color. And you can use this to paint with or to dye with. So you can do fabric, you can do um, paper and tags. I'm gonna show you um, just a few little mark making tricks on some papers, on some found papers that you can do um, real quick if you're just looking for an afternoon of some creativity. Um, this is a really fun way to add to your stash of really pretty and handmade papers. So you're gonna need two or three avocado pits. Um, a little bit of baking soda, and then I just have some jars. This is where I uh, fill my jars up after I'm done. This particular dye lasts a really long time, so I put it in jars, and I put it in the refrigerator, and I can make inks from this, and I can use it a lot. I can take it back out and dye, dye as I go along. Let's really quickly just make some marks on some papers, and you can see like what a cool element the springs. So I'm a really messy maker. I like to do things in stacks and make lots of different expressive marks. But you can also be, you could write, you could draw with this, like you could write letters or you can actually paint with this. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to just take, and I'm gonna make some marks on paper. So I'm using just a paintbrush. And I'm just gonna go through with some different papers and just play with some expressive marks. I'm not thinking too much. And I'm just gonna set them over. I'm gonna lay them on top of each other also just to see what happens um, as the layers get made. So this is just like a mixed media paper. I'm gonna use a little foam brush and I'm just gonna make whatever marks these tools make. It's really fun to experiment with different tools for mark making. Here's some paper from an old book. I'll use this bigger. And every paper is going to re react a little different depending on the acidity of the paper. I think it's just so fun to add layers to things. This is just some copy paper. And I just thought, hmm, what would some marks from some cardboard make? And I grabbed that out. So I'm gonna make a few marks with that. And if there's pooling, that's good. You're just gonna wanna let it air dry. So if you can spread out a little this piece I want to maybe maintain some of that mark, so I'm just gonna set that away separately. These other ones I'm just piling on top of each other. So that was just some copy paper. Um, let's try another piece of cardboard. And then one of my favorite things to have on hand is some tissue paper. So I'm just going to take this whole stack 
and I'm not going to be very too precious about it, but I'm going to, I think I'll use my foam brush, and I'm just going to make some marks. And it will kind of seep through and make a tie-dye effect if you have a good stack of this. But it's really pretty and it's a fun way to add interesting things to your gifts. So I'm going to set these aside and I'm going to show you real quick again the recipe and some of the particulars. This is a really easy thing to do in the afternoon. Get like messy in there. I don't want to make some ink out of that so I don't want to get too crazy with it. But even just working on top of some papers that you already dyed, I mean, that's just freaking cool. I love it. So I'm going to bring my pot back. What you're going to want to do is you're going to fill a pretty big pot. And if you're just doing a small amount, you can just use a small pot, even a glass jar in the microwave. Um, you're going to want to boil your, your avocado stones for at least two hours. And the longer they sit, the richer the, the, the dye gets. And... The other thing that helps is to add a little bit of baking soda into your water and stir. It's going to foam up, so make sure you have a big enough pot. Um, but I do like a couple tablespoons in about half of water. So have super fun with that. Um, there's so many things you can make. I mean, I just kind of sat down last night and made some tags for my letters. Um, I love this technique. You can use it on fabric. You could use it on a scarf. Um, just have fun and play. I hope you enjoyed your kit this month and I hope you enjoyed this little technique. We would love to see what you create. So tag us on Instagram or post on Facebook.